the 2021 maple season has arrived. It's the eighth day of January. A little bit of snow on the ground. Temperatures are looking good this week. Kids, um, here Ruben, Helen, and Hannah. I'd just like to publicly thank you guys on video. I know you love being on video like this. Um, but these guys, while I was in the hospital, took it upon themselves and went through all the sugar bush and fixed the squirrel damage and repairs and everything. And really proud of my kids for uh, helping me out. That First way. tap of the year. And I'm going to dedicate this tap and this whole season to my father. He was always... Uh, always around, always a part of the farm. He was not a farmer. He did not have a green thumb and he didn't even like farming, but he had a, a genius mechanical mind. And uh, if I needed something repaired or thinking about how to do something, he was the go-to. He helped me a lot with that. So this season's uh, dedicated to dad. We love you, dad. All right. Let's tap a tree. Let's talk about what we're doing here, Hannah. What are we doing? We find our last year's Where and the year the before holes? taps. Yep. Here, 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 here. So this tree's been tapped on this side about five or six times, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. So where's our, where's our, where are we going with? Right here. We're going right there. Why are we going right there? Because it is, it, it kind of makes a diamond pattern. It's eight inches down from our other taps. Eight and inches down and two about two inches, inches out. Over. So you make a diamond around the previous tap holes and you don't tap in that area because there's a scar in the tree that would not allow the sap to flow. So if we use a, a systematic pattern, we can tap this tree every year as it grows taller and bigger. We go down and work around the tree, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now what are we doing? And drill the hole. With our tree saver bit, we get on the side. Uh, we're going two inches deep with these holes. We got a little stop on the end of it. That's our. That's how far in we go. And let's go. All right, we got a hole drilled. Way to go, Hannah. Then what do we do? Who's next? We'll put the tap on the end. Oops. We got these stub spouts on 5 16 inch drops and these stub spouts stay on year round the tap goes on we try not to touch the tap too much this is a sterile environment as much as we can make it and then miss tapper comes along right we just get it in nice and snug until it kind of bounces back that's good all right, the first tap of the 2021 season, and we're off. Um, just uh, maybe might say one more thing. Uh, 3 16th inch tubing we're using. We, uh, we sterilize it at the end of the season. Uh, we put through calcium, um, calcium chloride, the end product is calcium. Uh, the first little bit of run, we'll just sit, we'll wash anything out that remains, but the only thing that should be left in the lines is calcium, and it just flakes out. We're using a 5 16 inch drop into our 3 16 line, up to a stubby spout, and then into a clear spout without a check valve. I think next year, I might go ahead and, and try new taps, uh, the silver taps that have a antibacterial uh, function to them. They say they're getting better uh, production rates using them. They're a little bit more expensive, but I think we're going to try it for next year. But all right, that video was from a easy to get to first tap. Now they're going to the second tap, and it ain't so easy. But it's fun, right? Yeah. If it was easy. What's the rest of it? What? If it was easy, everybody would do it. Everybody would do it. It's really nice to have the old logging roads and mining roads on the property actually will end each line right on the road so we can check the vacuum gauges on the, the, the end of each line. <laughs> <laughs> 